I am in Palms Place, Las Vegas in a highly, highly customized one bedroom suite that's available for sale right now. It is on the 37th floor, so that means penthouse level elevators, so you don't have to wait for everybody else. I wanna get you into this unit and check it out. This is absolutely over the top, and if you wanna be in the middle of all of the action and have a one of a kind unit, this is it. Let's go to the front door and check this thing out, okay? So here we are. I'm going to go to the front door, of course, like always, and then uh, start the tour from there. But this, to give you some general information, this is a 1,200 square foot unit that is a one bedroom. You know what? I may be getting some flickering from this because that's LED and that uh, rate is faster than our camera. But here this is a bathroom, second bathroom onto the left. As soon as you walk in, you walk into this amazing kitchen area which has onyx stone that is backlit. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. And then to the right, you have the entrance into, one of the entrances into the bedroom and bathroom there. But I wanna get into the kitchen and living room and go through this thing. Um, and then I'll go through in a little bit more detail because there's so much here that I just don't wanna miss it. I don't wanna miss anything. <laughs> this, now the owner of this unit, they had invested over a 200,000, I believe it's quarter million, a quarter million dollars into this massive renovation and customization of this unit. Now, when you get this unit from Palms Place, it does not look like this. <laughs> if you've seen any units of, uh, listed for sale, it is not even close to this. Look at this, this is stone. This isn't a wallpaper, this is stone. And then this is more uh, glass and stone as well. So they've done massive customizations. And this one right here, I just can't believe it. I hope on my screen it's flickering, but I hope it's not for you. But for LED lights, uh, their frame rate or our camera's frame rate is just not fast enough to pick up how fast they are. But that is so cool that they have this Onyx Island. This is just awesome. Oh, and check this out. With this remote, you can change it to whatever color you want. So you want to go to blue or any of these colors. <laughs> Look at that, isn't that cool? I think that's pretty neat. I'm gonna keep it on like a yellow. <laughs> <laughs> but going into the living room here, this um, unit has been highly customized. I'm just gonna kind of pan through and then I'll kind of describe a few things. So here we are, here's another entrance into the other, the master bedroom, or I guess the only bedroom, it's a one bedroom condo. We're over 1200 square feet and we have two balconies. They've requested that we keep the shades down for right now, uh, but man, this thing, as you can see there's patio furniture here. We got patio furniture for this balcony on this side and then we also have patio furniture over here for the other balcony. That This is the big balcony. So they have the blackout shades, which are true blackout, because you have the panels on the side that do not let your light in, and uh, that really makes this place dark. But then you're saying, well, what about this massive opening that you're in? Well, here's the problem, or here's the solve, here's how you solve that. You have sliding doors here that will block out all of the light from the living room area as well. I really like this sitting area. They do not have this in um, in the units over in Palms Place, like in the one bedrooms. I think they made really good use of this. And I wanna go through and tell you the customizations, but I just wanna do a walk through real quick of the actual unit and then kind of point out some of the things that I think are really neat. I mean, oh man, this is just so cool. <gasps> what is this? I thought this was a picture. This is stone. They have a stone, um, amazing stonework that's inlaid into the wall. Oh my gosh, guys, this is this is a lot of customization. There is massive amounts of, there's no expense spared. Like some people say, oh, I renovated, I didn't spare any expense. Well, most of the time they're lying. <laughs> they did spare expense. But I've seen a lot of renovations and this is looking really good. <laughs> um, but let's get into the, I'm gonna keep going through um, the price on this one. Actually, I'm getting it before it goes on the market. Ellie from Luxury States International, um, he let me get into the unit as like a coming soon. Right now it's only available for real estate agents to take a look at. Um, it is not available to the public, but by the time you see this, it may be, but we're getting ahead of the game here. Um, but this one's gonna be listed at 699,000. And look, you got a powder area here too, a makeup area. 
There you go, 699,000, over 1,200 square feet. Your HOA dues are 15, just over $1,500 a month, uh, but a lot of closet space over here. And since it is a one bedroom, you do have a uh, washer and dryer stackable in the unit. And oh my gosh, I'm just going through it. And I just want, I'm like, I'm checking everything out. I'm just like, wow, this is so cool. Like, look at this area here. Oh, and you know what? I just noticed this. I don't know if you saw that the light kind of kicked on. It kicked on because I walked in. I believe that's gonna be a motion activated light. That's very neat. This stone, all of this is stone. This, none of this is wallpaper. This is all really high-end stonework that is throughout this whole bathroom area. Oh my gosh, this is so neat. I mean, you may think that I'm trying to sell you on this and I'm not, I just wanna show you the unit. <laughs> but I'm selling myself on it because this is pretty cool. I mean, if you want a, a full custom unit and you're like, you know what? I, I was gonna do this to this unit anyway, but now I can get it for um, no headaches and no actual having to do it yourself. This is the unit for you. This is totally abnormal to have such a highly customized unit. Oh, and then here is the bathroom area, the set, the guest bathroom area. I like that they put this on here. I think this is kind of funny. It's kind of, uh, it's kind of neat. So going into here, you do have a guest bathroom and you, I mean, it's just, there's nothing, there's, it's, it, everything's covered. Everything's covered in this unit. It's pretty cool. Oh, and look at this area is reserved. <laughs> Uh, oh, look at this. You still have this old phone though. What's up with that? That's probably just a, you need to have it for the hotel. That's probably something that's like a must have for the hotel. Uh, that's too funny. Cool. Right on. All right, let's get out of here. And then I'll go through the actual living room area unit now. And look at this. You have these huge mirrors when you walk in too. This really makes the space open up. I mean, this is the biggest one bedroom you can get in any hotel condo in Las Vegas, but still having these mirrors in the right spots really open this thing up in the right way. That's the benefit of having a professional decorator come in and say, hey, we need all these things that you didn't think about. <laughs> um, okay, so here we go. Let's put, point in some customizations that I really think are neat. This is absolutely obscenely expensive to do right here. And one thing that you can't really notice right now is that it's backlit. So I'm gonna like actually turn this off and see if you can notice it on the camera or not. Well, oh, you can, cool. So it is backlit and at night it is gonna be absolutely gorgeous. You could probably just have that and a few lights going for ambient lighting in this area. And of course this is coming fully furnished turnkey. So everything that you see here, everything that you present, besides personal pictures of course and personal merchandise like their, their laptop area, um, then of course is all gonna come with this unit. Now this area right here, is what people do. They try, some people try to do customizations to this area and a lot of the times they get it wrong. But this person, this designer got it so right, I am ecstatic about it. So check this out. You do get in Palm's Place. First off, the, the great thing about Palm's Place is that you have gas. You have a gas fireplace, which is not available in any other tower. There is no gas fireplaces in any other high rise period. Now, going to back to you know when this was built, you had just a little gas fireplace. It was right here. It was nothing to write home about. But look at this. They did a textured leather finish stone here. And I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera or not, but look at this textured finish. And then you have your glass media here for a large fireplace here. This is really a massive upgrade. And check this out a huge vent area to take all of those fumes out of out of this area. But look at this. It is not encased in glass. So you can put your hand through it. This really opens things up. It is that's that's a huge upgrade to me. I know I may be writing home on that a little bit, but that is very cool. Um, what I do like, the next thing too, is that they made use of a lot of the spaces. Over here, they have an area that is typically not used at all, and I wanna get into that in just a second, but I wanna pan through here one more time, because man, this is just so cool. I love this sitting area. This sitting area was made possible because over in this area here, they would have the television in the normal units, 
right? So they have relocated all of the cable power and um, items needed for the television and they've placed it over here. You may have noticed it or it may have blended into all the other amazing stuff. <laughs> uh, but so they put, they relocated the television um, over to this area, making a lot more usable space, usable real estate over in that area for conversation. Um, and of course you have this high top too, which is very cool. It really opens things up. I like this layout a lot better than the standard one. But going into the, how they use some of the area a little bit better as well, they put a second desk here. In the master bedroom, they have a desk as well. Um, but I like that you have a second one because not you know it's not always just one person that needs to work or needs a space to do things. Now on the back side of here, this is an area that is typically missed with um, the hotel condo or with these one bedroom floor plans. You know, some people will put maybe a custom cabinetry in here too to get a little bit more storage, but this actually, they put a nice area to set things, right? So you have your cabinet here, of course, you have your remotes over here. Um, it looks like you have your automatic wine opener too. That's kind of, that's kind of neat, cork opener. And then uh, they of course made use of the space, putting a printer and audio equipment as well. So I'm sure that this place actually has a fantastic audio system. Now, seeing the living room, that's fantastic. Let's get into the bedroom because I want to make sure I get everything for you guys. And I swear I'm going to miss something. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to miss it because there's a lot to see in here. So now this is your floating tub, tub I believe. I mean, this looks so cool. Like, how do you, like, would you put this in your house? Like, I wouldn't put this in my home, but this looks so cool for your beach house right like this is like a beach house in las vegas this is not uh, just a standard property that you're like you know what let's do functionality over anything <laughs> so going into the master bedroom or the bedroom you do have of course a, the standard layout this is a standard layout but all of the flooring of course has been redone throughout the entire unit all of the colors have color matching. You have grays, new gray cabinets everywhere. Here, you have this large uh, mirrored area as well. That comes with the units. It looks like they've reupholstered this whole area as well, which is kind of like a textured feel as well. I like that. Um, and then of course, king size bed. Here is the desk area that I was talking about. They do have this as the primary desk. I don't know if it's a bigger one. I don't know if it's primary, but it's the bigger desk that they have here. And then behind this, window or behind this uh, panel is the large balcony. It's the second balcony on this unit. And um, yeah, it's it's a pretty good space. I wish I could get out there and show it to you, but they requested that I keep all the blinds down and I'm happy to, happy to oblige. Here we go, because I'm getting into this thing so early. Uh, but this stone, oh my gosh, this is so expensive. Again, they believe a quarter million dollars in renovations to this unit. So let's head through and we will get into the bathroom. Actually, well, we've taken a look at the bathroom and we've taken a look at this stuff. Uh, we haven't seen the closet area. Oh my gosh, cool. So they have put huge storage areas in here for your kitchen and uh, daily cleaning items. Oh my gosh. Very cool. Very cool. This is a lot of storage area in this unit. This is just huge for any, oh my gosh, you have so much space in here. So much space, a lot of storage, a lot of livability factor. And, uh, Oh my gosh, these floating sinks as well. And look at this stone. This is this has sparkles in it. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so cool. Oh, and you know what? Thank you. Thank you very much for taking that out. So this is a cable area here with power. You can put a television there. And I mean, what, do you use a television anymore? I feel like that was such a 90s thing to use a television in your bathroom. That was like, uh, I don't know, but we've had it, man. They're big, bulky televisions. Sometimes they just never leave the bathroom and they stay there for decades, <laughs> which is what happened here in all the other one bedrooms. They all have these televisions there that are basically useless, but I digress. <laughs> oh, like and subscribe. <laughs> all right, um, I wanna open the shower up for you guys so you can take a look at the inside in here because this is so cool. And I, I feel like I'm overusing that and I'm just killing it. But man, this is just neat. Here we are. And again, stone all around. And you have three different heads. Look at, you have three heads that are pointing here. And then you have your shower head over here. And then you have the rain on top. This is just over the top. 
<laughs> oh man. Okay, great. So I believe I showed you everything with this unit and I've gone way in depth, a little, probably more than I should have, uh, but I just really found this to be totally over the top and different. Uh, you do have a washer and dryer or a dishwasher here, over here. You do have your Sub-Zero fridge refrigerator here. And these are the standard things. I really didn't highlight these, but these are standard things. You have your refrigerators, of course, and all the refrigerators here are great. They made good use of this area, putting a small mini bar, wine rack, and all of that. You do have your microwave as well. And then this will be extra storage up above. Here we are. Perfect. Well. I hope this video helped you in your search. If you, if I can help in any way, please let me know. And again, special thanks to Ali. He is great. He's my Palms Place guy. And I always go to him if I need uh, something that may not be on the market. And if you need something that's not on the market, let me know because we find off-market properties like this one before they get to market for our clients. And we do video tours like this for our clients as well. And if you want to be one of our clients, I'd love to help you out. Talk to you soon, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.